Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and it is dark and early on Monday morning, which means we have our weekly news coming out. We knew Starlet Elena coming out this week, but there's a lot more coming out, including some things that are surprising to me. So let's check them out right now. Okay, so straight into the notices and you'll see that there's a maintenance this Tuesday. It's a short one though, only a couple hours. So hopefully we get some uh, get some busy ore for that. And with it only being a two hour maintenance, we might still have Guild Wars. We will see. Okay, new units coming out this week. Now, we knew that Starlight Elena was coming out, so that's no surprise. But Veln coming out, that is, okay, that's news. Lightning Selection Quest. Veln is the Lightning Selection Quest. Let's keep going here. Um, Starla Elena, now look, limited right here, right? So she is confirmed to be a limited time unit. We will, excuse me, we will see exactly how limited she is here in a minute. Um, a turn of Puritas, limited vision card, and Smite the Dark, limited vision card coming out. And then they're getting bingo boards, like all the new stuff is. So let's see, Veln, Azur, okay, yep, let's keep going. Here's Starlight Elena. Uh, quick preview of her skills. She's got a limit break, you know, significantly lowers reaction ability. Like we'll do a full, uh, review of her kit. Once we see her kit, if you want to just check out a couple of her moves, you can see them right here. Um, again, I believe she will be a very, very strong unit. A lot more to come on her throughout the week. Okay. Here's the big part of this one. She will be available for, from 929, which is this Wednesday, until 1019. That's three weeks, right? Yes, my math is, seems right there. That's a three-week window to build her up. So it's it's almost as long as like a, um, a collaboration unit. There you go. Again, if you don't have the Vizior for a uh, double-cost global first unit, there are other options for you this week. And starting with Veln. And this is an important one because this is the first week where we're getting the ability to use Veln for her own selection quest. So you'll be able to use her and then any MR or lower rarity lightning unit to unlock her. She's main job Lancer, sub job Dragoon, sub job Monk. Of course, I'll be doing a preview video for her um, coming out in a little bit later. They preview Vacuum Slash. I think one of the big things with her to note is her damage types are Piercing and Strike, which are two of the harder to mitigate damage types, or at least two of the less mitigated damage types. So will she be good? Will she not be good? We will see. Okay, a turn of Puritas. This is Fryevia's vision card coming out. Uh, you can see it's a cost 70, slash attack resist up, wind attack resist up, and defense debuff resist up for the person wearing it. Hate up and max HP up, a uh, limited bestowed effect for the, or I'm sorry, the first thing is the party ability. The person wearing it, uh, which if they're an ice type unit, gets hate and max HP up, and also gets accuracy and missile attack resist up if they are Fryevia. So Fryevia's vision card coming out definitely geared towards tanking, very obviously. It's another hate up vision card, so that's pretty cool. It will also be available until the 19th, and you're going to be getting it for free in your box. Okay, Smite the Dark. This is uh, the new vision card for Elena. Let's check it out really briefly here. Uh, four light element units in your group. Luck up, critical damage up, strike attack resist up. Strike attack resist up. Okay, so here's actually a vision card with strike attack resist up on it. Only though four light element units. Limited bestowed effects. If you're a light unit, you get magic and evasion up. If you are starlight Elena, you get light attack up and critical hit rate up. Um, let's clear up something about this. There's been some confusion. I was also confused. The new vision card will be um, limited for the same three weeks as Elena is. It does not say we will be getting this for free. I was confused about that from the previous like uh, news video. Anyway, it's not given out, but the Fryavia card is. Okay, then yeah, there's bingo boards for all of the new stuff. Pretty standard there. Let's keep it rolling. They all get a JP bonus. Now, here's the next big round of news. EX jobs coming out. Elena, yep. 
and then Ruinstern getting an EX job. Um, this is a big one. Like, I think Ruinstern is one of the better units in the game. Him getting to 120, this will get him more in par with our current, you know, top tier DPS units. So that one's really exciting. And then regular Helena Leonis also picking up her EX job. So that one's pretty cool. Now, check this out. New unit shard drops the Chocobo Expedition. Elena, no surprise. Dwayne and Fryevia. I believe this means we can look forward to a Dwayne and Fryevia getting their banners back this week. So if you need to like work on one of them, you're going to have a chance. And then Zaza on the Unkillable. Here's a rerun for him. So, if you needed Dwayne, Fryavia, or Zazan, it looks like you're going to get a shot to go for them this week. That seems pretty cool. And then Toneberry getting his 3-star Awakening. He will be getting some Disable Resist on his board. And that's the end of that one. So... Elena, going to be the prize of the week, I think, but there are some nice other things to work on. If you are skipping Elena, there's plenty to do as far as, you know, new stuff and EX jobs coming out. Okay, 1.5 year anniversary part two login bonus. We are now into part two of the anniversary. Let's see what we're getting. Pretty basic stuff here. We're getting Elena shards, Vizior, tickets. This is the standard, the standard fare for login bonuses, so that's neat. Let's see. Okay, the Ancient Tomb of Leonis is getting a rerun. This is a huge one, especially for people trying to work on Lightning Selection Quest because this is the one where you can get Silma. Silma is a completely free unit, and she's a really, really good completely free unit. So if you need her for Lightning Selection Quest, you can farm her here, as well as farming um, the Lunar Tomb, you know, the book weapon for your Scholar units. So that's a really good rerun. There's a metal shop for that. The basic stuff there. She'll have challenge missions where you get like, you don't just get the regular battle shards. You get like a ton of her shards. You can literally 120 this unit for no Vizior. Okay. Lightning selection quest. And then it's going to confirm here that yes, you get Velna. Um, blah, blah, blah. And then you'll be able to actually use Velna and MR lower units. That's what it says right there. Very good. Okay. JP and item drop double up campaign. Really good story campaign. Getting double JP is always nice. All right. Next up. Now, this one I didn't see coming. We are getting a PVE event this week. The Tower of Visions. It is like the Porcelain Tower. But it's a different tower. It's, I guess it's like a side tower or something. We'll check this out real quick. So, to commemorate the 1.5 year anniversary of the game, the Tower of Visions War of the Lions Valley will be available for starting on the 29th, which is this Wednesday. Use units that meet the embark conditions and aim to clear as many floors of the tower as you can. In addition, acquire unit enhancing and waking materials. Yep, okay, cool. On EX1 and EX2, you can acquire a Blossom of Paradise. Really nice. Um, earn you Tower Visions medals, which you can exchange in the shop. Okay, so it's like the Porcelain Tower, and I bet you the Porcelain Tower will also be active if you need to go there and, like, farm Rain Sword or something. I'm guessing that's how that works. We'll find out for sure on Wednesday. Okay, and it looks like there's going to be specific unit rules for this one. Um, the basic rules still the same. Units have to be level 20. Five units, uh, KO'd units do not carry over, so, and items can't be used, okay? So, let's see, da, 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 your abilities also don't carry over, great, you get the full recovery button. It doesn't, it doesn't look like we're getting any sort of, like, new material here, or at least new information. Um, it talks about the rewards, we'll get a 10x summon, Magisite XL times 30 summon ticket, that's really nice, King Burst Pots. Then the exchange shop will be... Well, we'll review the exchange shop when we actually see it. EX quest give blossoms. So there's going to be titles available for... Um, you, you get, like, speed ranking titles. So, yeah. Um, players are ranked by the number of actions performed and the number of units that were KO'd. So, yo, how efficient you are at clearing the tower will get you... Met, yo, recognized, I suppose, is the way to say it there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, new tower coming. Now, guild battle map and arena map are updating. The guild battle map is going to Castle Exterior. This is a good map, in my opinion. It's very, like, just, it's, a, it's just a very generically good map. So, I'm happy to have it back for the guild battle map. It will have light unit slash attack up. There are plenty of light unit slashers out there, including Starlight Elena, the new unit. So, that's cool. 
and then it will have the arena map changing to cave with dark attack resist up and magic up so uh let's see dark attack resist up so rip like dark teams and then magic up so it wants you to use non-dark magic teams take that black rose helena she'll still be good on this map because she's good no matter what so that's interesting and then free match will be updated to cave as well and that's the news now we do have some plays of the week this week so let's jump to that segment all right now our guild battle play of the week comes to us from sojourn from the guild medina showing off a cloud Aerith frederica comp now the key here is not that like they're using some cool units or something like that although i do think Aerith is really cool the key to this guild battle is the positioning the way that uh he was able to suck his units in next to Aerith to start the fight to take advantage of her kit you can see she started the fight off by giving the magic shield to the group then because everybody was next to her she can become a quicken bot so you can see the skill combination that's on here right it's magic shield into quicken Aerith and look how effective it is at powering up a super strong duo like Cloud and Frederica to come out here and win a fight like she's healing she has has the magic shield uh, given to Cloud so he can live through Black Rose Hell and his damage, and it ends up being a super clean win by using the uh, power, right, of Aerith and a couple other strong units to power through a fight. So GG, well done. Way to take advantage of Aerith's AI into a nice clean win, and thank you Sojourn for submitting that video. And that's going to do it for the Monday news video. Now you might say, hold on, Orange Jay. Why is there another battle running in the background as you're ending your video? Well, I do want to give a special shout out to Starlet Francesca, who is our ref in Friday Night Fights. Like, if you've ever been to our Friday Night Fights, they run so much smoother because of Francesca's refereeing. Her guild is currently looking for a couple new members, so I said, hey, you know what? I'll shout it out in one of the videos. She submitted this class match video, so it's a good thing to run in the background while I talk about her guild real quick. If you are looking for a guild, they are currently, hold on, I have it written down, they are currently in Master 3, they need two members, their requirements are pretty lax, right, you just need to show up every day, play in Guild Wars, join their Discord, like the basic stuff, they're a really good group of people, uh, they're a member of like Dr. Diggs' family of guilds, so you'll be a part of that Discord as well. And if you're looking for a guild that's a little bit more competitive and you meet their requirements, hop on over to um, my Discord if you want to see like all the guilds looking for uh, you know looking for players. Or I will leave a specific link to Francesca's Discord in the description. And now we'll call it a video. So thank you all for watching this week. Good luck on your polls if you're going for anybody. I will have videos covering um, all of the new stuff coming out as soon as I can. And I'll see you next time. Peace.